Now, weather week, summer threats. All week long, we're going in depth informing you about weather that usually strikes this time of year and the tools used to track it. And there's a new multi million dollar satellite circling the Earth right now that's changing the game when it comes to weather data collection. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is here now with more on how the technology will keep you safe. Tony? Well, one of the first pieces of data that we look at at the Pinpoint Weather Center when preparing a forecast is satellite data. We just get a wealth of atmospheric information from these satellites. And now a brand new satellite is set to take weather forecasting and observations to a whole new level. In southern New England, the variety of rapidly changing weather from season to season is both beautiful and sometimes dangerous. Over the years, there's been a number of major advancements in weather technology. Doppler radar back in the late 1980s, the first weather satellite launched in 1960, and now the most advanced weather satellite high above our heads goes 16. I spoke with Dave Valley from the National Weather Service. As forecasters, we're both excited about this next generation satellite. Three, two, one. And lift off. On November 19, 2016, the $500 million GO-16 weather satellite was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. This advanced remote sensing platform orbits Earth, collecting huge volumes of data and imagery. You'll be able to see actual cloud formation and thunderstorm formation and decay in real time as these systems are evolving. We've never ever had that capability before on such a large scale to be looking at this regionally. Some of the major advancements with the GO-16 weather satellite, higher resolution. In other words, picking up small details in the atmosphere with greater clarity. Also increased data frequency, quite simply getting more data over a short period of time. This is an infrared image of a storm over New England showing incredible detail and fluid motion within the atmosphere. This is called the water vapor channel. Now we have a better visualization of moisture at different levels of the atmosphere. This in turn will help to improve forecast accuracy. This satellite is going to have the capability to be extracting wind vectors from various altitudes based on satellite estimates every five minutes. And that database is going to feed the numerical weather models that we rely on to predict the weather every day. A brand new lightning mapping system now gives us the ability in real time to look at lightning flashes within thunderstorms. Consider that this satellite is going to have a geostationary lightning mapper, uh, multiple ways and arrays of measuring lightning activity in the clouds. That's a trigger for rapid intensification for hurricanes. When we see a big burst of lightning activity, that's a critical trigger that this system is about to go under rapid, rapid intensification.